hi guys uh, welcome back so today we'll see about one of the build tool available that is ant so first of all we need to know what is a build tool a build tool is generally used to automate repetitive task that we do in our build uh, now will ask me what is a build a build is basically something can be thought as like building a project for deployment okay so let's take an example of compiling a source code so you need to go to the file suppose you we are you are using a java a java code so you need to go to bin write java c command type in the file name then we will compile it yeah in these days today we have eclipse and other ides but still need to do this task this task are usually done by the ides so popular build tools in java space are apache ant maven gradle so we'll talk about apache ant so apache ant is a general purpose build tool so what do you mean by ANT? The abbreviation for ANT is that another neat tool and is primarily used for building and deploying the Java projects but can be used for every possible uh, repetitive task what, whatever you can think of whatever the task you are repeating you can automate those tasks with the help of ANT okay so we'll see about preferring the environment and setting it up okay so let's go to google and type in ant okay just saying ant yeah so just go here download it so uh, binary distribution downloads you will see here just download it and your ant is downloaded so after downloaded you will see here and is downloaded I've just extracted it add layer you have zip and extract it and after extraction just go to C and bin so now you need to make sure some of the things that you need before installation so what do you need we need here is Java home to be set okay and we need to create an environment variable or an environment path where we need to give the path of Apache and bean so that Apache and bin can be run from anywhere. We can we'll do it copy. Around systems. We have our environment variables. We'll go to path, we'll edit it. So this is not a standard way to go to path and edit it. I've just copied it here with a semicolon. Earlier it would look like this if you have not configured it would like like this so just keep a semicolon paste it and click on ok so instead of doing that we will create an ant underscore home variable and just put in this path here So now if you go to a command prompt just run and version it's saying baby and home and home is not installed. Okay, no problem. I'll delete my and home. I 
I generally do like that only. You can say to run to path cause. Okay, so so to verify web right AT version. You can have Eclipse installed as well. If you want, you can download Eclipse. We'll go with our first paid file right now, right away. So typically, we have a build.xml for and build. So everything is done in an XML file. So and and only understands XML. Okay. So all these configurations will be created under build.xml. Suppose I have a seer it what it's saying trying to trying the default build file build.xml right so it it is not able to find out build.xml so it needs build.xml so for that reason it's showing build failed so I'll go to my desktop as I have already done it I'll just show you a sample build file so this is my sample build file that looks like this so I'll quickly move into my folder and we'll run on run this build file to see how it works actually so to cd yeah i'm on my ant test so i'll do ant see here my message that i have written over here that is in, instead of writing i have written here echo this is the tags these are the predefined tags that ant understands basically so inside this tag I have written over here hello world welcome to Apache Ant so it looks good and it's saying build successful so we'll see more of it in the coming session stay tuned and please like and share thank you thank you for liking it